Yes. 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 But I'm not. I'm not impressed with the performance still. And uh, you can remember I said you you have to be serious with your work, and you may ensure that you do the right thing. Uh, Melissa, can you try to present for us the paper? Will I do it myself? Can you do it, Melissa? Yes. Can you present for us? Oh yes. Okay, do that. But I'm still not very happy because uh, even when I check the performance uh, in various uh, platforms where all of you are doing work, we are still not getting uh, 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 good results, the one that we want all our students to get. So can I start with the questions that are having problems first before we go through all of them? So can you say the question you want us to do, please? Or we just go through. We go through all them, all of them. Yes. Okay. So then, when we look at number one, I will be moving very fast so that uh, you actually know what you are supposed to do. So if you look at number one, this diagram that if you see a diagram like this in an exam, there are two questions that are always being asked. The first question is what property of light and the second one is what aspect of light if you see, uh, you see this one here so in our case the question was asking which aspect so when you are talking about aspect you talk about rainbow understood no i'm saying if they are talking about aspect okay if they are talking about aspect you talk about a rainbow. They, they, this is a rainbow. This is a, a diagram that is used to uh, to investigate a rainbow. But when they talk about, when they ask you what property of light were they investigating, then the, the answer is refraction. Get the difference. When they ask aspect is making a rainbow. When they ask for a property of light, that one is refraction because refraction is the one that causes rainbow. Understood? Yes. Okay. Yes. Move to number two. Move number two, HIV and AIDS can be prevented through all the following methods, except anytime in science, we have words that you have to look at. In science, there are, there are around six words that you have to look at. The word accept, the word correctly, the word wrongly, the word not correctly, the word best, and the word mainly. So make sure you know those kind of things. Now, if you see the word except, meaning all the three are correct. The, the one which is wrong, uh, they, they, they are asking you which one is wrong. So abstaining, that one is for the youth. We normally say that one for the youth. Is that correct? Abstaining, we say for the youth. Yes. Okay. Being faithful to one partner, we say? Uh, married, married. married people. Correct. Curing with ARVs. No. HIV has no cure. HIV and AIDS has no cure. Therefore, this A is wrong. The ARV is just boosting the immune system. Early testing, that one can help us. So we, we pick C as the correct answer. Curing with the ARV, AIDS does not have cure. And therefore, you are also going to get it in an exam where you're being asked which one of the following is a myth and which one of the following is a misconception. AIDS does not have cure. That is a fact. Correct. So number three, in which part of the gut are the mineral salts absorbed in the body? Minerals and water are absorbed in the colon. And another name for colon is large intestine. But not necessarily you have to get the answer. You have to check in helium because the next question will be asked, the absorption of food take place in there. Make sure you know that helium, absorption of digested food. I hope you are writing if you, are, you don't know. The stomach is the absorption of uh, in uh, absorption of uh, glucose this uh, alcohol vitamins those ones are being absorbed in the, absorbed in the stomach and in the rectum store food they store food the undigested food are stored temporarily in what we call the rectum so make sure you know that so that's how you are supposed to answer question please on friday i'm going to give you a full paper on friday 
I will give a full paper. That's why you see I've started giving you questions. Even tomorrow we still do questions. We have left people questions. We are going to give you questions of all the topics. And then on Friday, we give you an overall paper and see how you are going to perform in it. So make sure you understand how I'm answering questions. If you have a question, can you ask in number three? One, two, three. Nobody. Melissa, let's go to number four. You know, we are moving very fast so that we don't take time for lunch. Which one of the following livestock parasites? What year? Can note. Those are the main words in science. Can note. Control by both spraying. So the main word here again is spraying. And another one here is the warming. So in other words, you say spraying is for the external parasites. Spraying, external parasites. The warming, internal parasites. So the warming cannot control external, spraying can also not control internal. But now here we are being asked, in other words, these people are asking us, which livestock parasite cannot be controlled? You get what I'm saying? Yes. Yes. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> cannot be, cannot be controlled. Yes. So we cannot control the fly. Just a fly is a fly. Even if you put the cattle in the deep, put the cattle down here in the deep, when the cattle pass the deep, Kenda uko inje, atapata nini? Atapata sese fly, they are resting. To make sure you know that any livestock parasites that cannot be controlled by any other method, that is sese fly. Pick spring, pick spring, uh, and rotational grazing. Tape warm, it's rotational grazing, and the warming, hookworm, rotational grazing, and the warming. Understood? Yes. Understood? Yes. 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 All right, thank you. And you write anything you don't know. You know. I don't know what you don't know. So you people write what you don't know. I will be saying everything, but just write what you don't know, and then if you have a question, you ask. Okay, on a nature walk, yes. class six people saw a, a hummingbird on flowers what is remember i said science question always ask what is the demand what is the demand of the question once you have seen hummingbird on flowers this one take us to two types of pollination uh, two type of um, pollination agents of pollination we talk about in class six that is wind and insect so the question will ask you the flower are likely to have so what do you think hummingbirds are going to get from a flower? They have nectar. And therefore, if they have nectar, which flower, which, which pollination is? That is insect pollinated flower. So you just check which one is for pollinated flower. Sticky flat stigma, large, large petals and family attached anthers, dull petals and fit scent, feathery stigma and a few pure plain grains. So unatoa, feathery stigma is for wind. So unatoa here, dull petals is for wind. And sticky flat stigma, the 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 it is the which is uh, sticky for insect. It is the plain green which is sticky. So unabaki na hi large petals, the family attached and fast. That's why you see even this 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 these this people who are uh, are always having tabiambaya. This this uh, people have uh, tabiambaya. Wasiana wakona tabiambaya. You have to see. They have to look at a way in which they look pretty for men to look at them. So that is what is happening here. So uh, the flowers that are pollinated, pollinated by insects, they have to look nice for the insects to come there. So they have large petals, and then the the, 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 the phantas is also firmly attached. So that's what we are talking about. So make sure you know where is the question coming from and how do I answer that question. Thank you very much, Melissa. Let's put number six. Understood? Understood yes. for everybody? Yes. Correct. Yes. Let's go to number six. Class five pupils set an up yes. an experiment below during a science lesson. Once you have seen that it is an experiment, and I'm repeating this, once you have seen it's an experiment, know why that experiment was being done. Know the observation, know the reason why, and then know the, uh, the, the conclusion. So this experiment, what do you think this experiment is testing, Melissa? What do you think? 
This experiment is been investigating what? First of all, what is the conclusion or what is the principle? Uh -huh. Cha air. Olivia? Cha air occupies Cha? Yeah, this. Uh -huh. Beto? Air occupies space. Hello? Everybody air occupies space. Why is it air occupies space? Melissa, go up. Go up. It's air occupies space. The main thing, what will make me know that this is investigating air occupies space is when I'm going to see. When I push this glass downwards, where will be the position of the wooden block? The wooden block will not go at, 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 the, at, the, at the bottom of the glass. It will go down at the bottom of the basin because it there occupies space. There is air inside that glass. So when you are asked, what did you observe or which diagram will show that? So you go down, go down, Melissa. Go down. So you see choice A, water has entered inside the glass. Automatically, that is wrong. Because air occupies space. Then choice B, it is floating. It is floating. That is also wrong. Choice C is the correct answer. Choice D, water has entered the glass. Water cannot enter the glass. So you have to know two things in an experiment. You have to know observation. You have to know conclusion. Those two things. Principle is the same as observation uh, as conclusion. Observation is what you are going to see. So the next example, the next exam will ask you, what did you observe? What am I going to observe? Water will not enter the glass, and the, the wooden block will rest at the bottom of the basin. Those are the things that you are going to observe. Thank you very much. Let's move. Hope everybody has understood. Lisa, have you understood now? Sure. Yes. Uh, Ebron? Sure. Yes. No chance, maybe. Hey, talk, talk. Cha, I'm saying, cha, and in choice B, there's a diagram you used to tell us. Okay, the one I'm which saying in like choice B, uh -huh. there's a diagram you told us. Yes, uh, uh, that diagram that I show you, which will be like choice B, and thank you for asking. You know, I like people who like asking questions. Uh -huh. Correct. So you see now, the one that will be like B, if there is a hole, if there is a hole, the bottom of the glass because there's that that question is also going to come in exam now they have put a hole instead of there is no hole here now when they put a hole answer will be choice b understood mm -hmm. melissa yes. and i'm going to show you that i'm going to show i think i have the, yes. I have the question like that i'm going to show you that where they when they put a hole you will see the diagram as choice b but i'm going to show you that at the end of the this exercise i have the diagram like that where we have the hole thank you understood can i continue melissa okay class seven pupils match different drugs with their effects and you have to know Sir. okay Sir. Yeah. Stop. Okay. Sir. Mm -hmm. I'm saying mm. that which that which experiment is used to investigate air exact pressure. I'm going to show you that diagram. I also have it. But air exact pressure. That I will, I'm going to show you the diagram. But you normally have yes. you have a glass and then you put a cardboard on top of the glass. But I'm going to see. I'm going to show you that diagram. Eh? So remember, before we finish, I have to show two diagrams. One for air occupy space where we have the the hole at the bottom of the glass and then another one is air exact pressure wait the one which you feel, feel is asking how those diagrams i'm going to show you thank you very much for that a question okay melissa can we continue number seven i was saying i'm repeating this for those people okay. who are have no idea of what is effects of the drug if you have to know the main effects of each and every drug have so many effects something like addiction is for all of them so it cannot be used to differentiate anything but so i want you to in you read cut so who can tell me cut what is the main effects that when i read cut i know this cut sure. mm -hmm. lack of sleep lack of sleep lack of sleep yes that is correct lack of sleep 
and also it also causing a lack of appetite. This for at tobacco, who knows tobacco, main effects of tobacco, not addiction, no addiction is for all of them. Tobacco. Nani na tobacco? cancer. Lung cancers, lip cancer, stomach ulcers, all those ones are for tobacco. Any ulcers, this tobacco, troll. Trolls are inhalants. Inhalants. Troll. Say, just unmute yourself, then you say if you know. Troll inhalants. Eh, yeah, you people. Brain Inhaler. damage. Hey, brain damage, yes, brain damage. We have also uh, breathing problems and all those kind of things. So we are being asked who, who among them match the drugs wrongly. Automatically that one will be cut. It does not bring hallucination. The answer will be Brian. Okay. Yes. Are you okay? Yes. So what, what are we supposed to know? We are supposed to know the main effects of each and every drug. So you go to class seven book, check the drugs, list them, and write the main effects, not the one that they are sharing, the main that when you see, it is for that specific uh, drug. Then number eight, uh, hey, we, are, we are late of time, but we can continue later tomorrow. During a nature walk, pupils observe a mushroom growing on the back of a tree. That is the main thing, growing on the back of a tree. So that is support, interdependence between plants and plants. So the mushroom depends on the tree for all the following except. What do you think the, the, the mushroom is not getting from the tree? Does it get support? Does it get food? Does it get habitat? Does it get shade? Tree trunk. Best answer is just shade. The, 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 best, the best answer according to me is shade because this is a tree okay. trunk. A tree trunk uh, does not provide any shade to a, 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 a mushroom, but it will give the support, it will give the food, it will also give the habitat. Understood for everybody? Yes. Okay, let's move to yes. number nine, Marisa. Yes. Number nine. Number nine. Diagram below shows a lever while in use. The only thing that you need to know a lever, and please, I'm telling you this. Levers are always the machine. We must have at least one question from the machines. At least one question from the machines. And the main objective of levers is the position of fulcrum, load, and effort while in use. So fulcrum at the middle. Fulcrum at the middle. Answers in KCP will always be Roba and Kulohama. Answer, Alcram as at the middle, Kulohama, Roba. Understood? Yes. So what about scissors? Re relax, relax. Scissors has Falcram at the middle, Ndio. I was saying the answer in KCP. So you'll be asked which one of the following have the same uh, position of effort, fulcrum, and, uh, and load as a scissors, your answer can only be a proba or kuluama. If you go through all the KCP questions from 2006 up to date, choices are always four. We always, always only have, always have kuluama, 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 speed other things yeah other things now will have the same like 2019 it was a lead opener a lead opener will have the same as the crowbar that is 2018 2019 it was a crowbar having the same as uh the 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 the, 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 the crowbar is having the same as the armor so those are the things that you know will uh wheelbarrow is load at the middle so that is the wheelbarrow for wheelbarrow to be the answer, we must talk about nut cracker, but talk about four inch. You must talk about uh, about opener. That is this load at the middle. The answer is wheelbarrow. Effort at the middle. The answer is always speed. What are these things? Fishing rod. Another one is 
Which you wrote? Another one? Room. Rooms, another one? Room. Yes, another one. Fishing rod, broom. We also have uh, the, the, the tweezers, the forceps. We have a pair of tongs. All those, all, all those ones belong to uh, load at, uh, effort at the middle. So make sure you know that. So in this case, a fulcrum at the middle automatically become what now, Tanya? Fulcrum at the middle automatically now become what? Crowbar. Crowbar, correct. Let's move very fast, Melissa. Okay. In which part of the body is blood purified? Blood is only purified in the lungs, lungs and, and the kidneys. kidneys. Lungs and kidneys, yes. The heart does not purify the lung, the blood. In fact, heart, blood is just passing, passing through pulmonary artery, the lungs for purification, and then the kidney is also purifying the, the blood. Let's go to number eleven. What is the function of the long tap root system? The plants that grow in dry areas. In other words, these people are just asking you class eight. These are class eight adaptation of the plants. What is the adaptation of the root for the plants that are growing in dry areas is to tap the underground water. But you have to make sure what, what which one is preventing water loss. That is thick waxy cuticle. Water loss, thick waxy cuticle. Protection from animals. That one is thorny, thorny leaves or spikes. Then store water. That is fleshy stem. Fleshy, uh, fleshy stem that is the one that store water. Make sure you know those kind of things. Understood? Yes, yes. yes. Yeah, but if you want, make sure if yes. you want to know science, if you want to know science, you have to do them the way I'm doing it. If you want to know science, you cannot just go to the answer and get the answer. Please know choice A is for what, choice B is for what, choice C is for what, choice D is for what. In carnivorous animals, which teeth are adapted for to slice and crack? Slice and then crack. That is scissors like. Scissors like. That one is carnassial teeth. Scissors like. Cracking bones. That one is carnassial teeth. Make sure you know the functions of uh, the canines, the incisors, and the premolars. In both, that one you now you see, this is coming from adaptation. So you never know the next question will come from, this one is from carnivorous. The other one is from herbivores, like that, like that. Let's move very fast, Melissa. We'll take your five minutes, so we'll move very fast. Lunch, I will take five minutes for lunch, don't worry. Which one of the following statement is not true about parasites? Parasites, we have external and internal. So they help the host to feed. Hey, how do they help? Oh, yeah. They get their food from the host, yes can cause diseases, yes. They can either be internal or external. So automatically the answer become A. They don't help. In fact, they, they are the ones that are destroy the life of the host. They feed on your blood. Okay. Number 13. 14. Which one of the following? It's not a function of the placenta. Make sure you know the function of the placenta. There are six. Transport food material from the mother to the fetus. That is correct. Facilitate removal of waste product from the fetus. Yes. Facilitate breathing of the fetus. Mm -hmm. That is correct. The exchange of gases. Then prevent mixing of materials and fetal blood. No. The, the maternal blood, that is the mother's blood, and, and the fetus blood do not mix automatically. It, does, it, is, it is not placenta that prevent. All the blood of the mother and of the baby does not mix anywhere. Even if the mother is having HIV Sha -ha. and Sha -ha. the baby... Uh -huh. mm. Sha -ha. Sha -ha. Sha -ha. Wait, one person to talk. Did they talk? Guys. Yeah. Okay. can you talk then, then in L? Huh? Okay, so I want to ask a question. Chai got transportation, mm -hmm. uh, transport food materials for um, uh, um, 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 Umbilical cord is just a passage between the placenta and the babes. If you look at the diagram, I don't know if I have it, I will show you. Diagram when the baby is there. It is the placenta that nourishes the baby. It's the one that takes care of the baby. It's ensuring which goes in and which does not go. That's why after birth, the placenta must be removed from the mother's body being, I don't know, is it 24 hours? Within 24 hours, but 24 hours even along. 
because it contains a lot of chemicals. Remember, it is the one that prevents any entry of harmful substances from going to the mother's blood, uh, going to the baby. So the, the umbilical cord is just a passage. So it's a placenta allowing the food that is passing, then uh, the umbilical cord will allow the passage of food to the, to the mother. Have you understood? Ethop? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Nenel? Yes. Well, that is the same question you're asking. Yes. So you, you went for choice A. You went for choice. Like, make sure you know the blood of the mother and that of the baby does not mix. There's nowhere they will mix, even if the placenta is not there. It will not mix. Be okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Anytime you get a question yes. on procedure, what did I say you do? If you get a question on procedure, what did I say you do? Who can remember? Who can remember? If I get a question on the procedure, what am I supposed to do? Who can remember? Who can remember? If I get a question from the procedure, I know the first one, and I also know the last one. So in this case, uh, it's a procedure for making. So I have put soil in the funnel, place funnels on the bottle, put cotton in the funnel, put water in the funnel, arrange the step so that the right ob observation, uh, the right observation is made. Now what I know is pouring water. That is the last automatically. True or false? True or false? True. True. So I just True. eliminate the choice that does not end with four. And you see, if this is a KCP question, by the way. So remember, a KCP, you say when you know one, it eliminates uh, two. But this one has already eliminated all the choices except choice boy. So even if I don't know which start, I know pouring water is the last. True or false? True, True or false? Yes. True. So that, that procedure... Uh, that procedure True. is that. Uh, thank you very much. Now, True. another important question as far as KCP is concerned is the effects of heat on matter. My friend, if you don't know this question, go and do research. This is a question that cannot miss in a KCP or in any exam paper. Uh, tomorrow we are going to revise uh, the signal paper that that, that, the, that other people did and some of you did not do. Only Faith Hope appeared in top 100, got 82. The rest who did, did not even appear in top 100. I was very annoyed. Because there are people even got 100. Uh, like like Stacy. Stacy got 90-something. Was it 98 or 96? Faith Hope was the... Stacy and Faith Hope are the only two people from our school who appeared in top 100. Eh? And who? Most of us got 70s and 80s. And the, the top 100 was hey. at 82. Um, hmm? yeah. So if you don't want to fail a science paper, no effects of heat on matter. This one is very, very important. What are they asking here now? Which of the following processes require lowering of temperature? Lowering of temperature is con condensation and freezing. Well, first of all, you will label the diagram. Is what the first piece what the first few people are the time for lunch is what okay. gas Condens or liquid condensation, condensation. Uh, liquid to solid liquid to solid freezing solid to liquid melting liquid to gas evaporation evaporation so melting evaporation requires increase in temperature freezing and condensation does not require increase in temperature so the answer become qp let's move very fast melissa this is a this is a is, a, is what we call the machine so you see in each and every paper there are two questions for machine so this one is here for uh for make uh, making work easier and this is pulley pulley make work easier and i'm repeating pulley make work easier by changing the direction of force. Changing direction of force. So, pulleys, 
they don't increase, they don't decrease or increase the effort. In fact, sometimes the effort is higher than the load. The only thing they do is they change. So instead of pulling, going upward, you pull downward and the load go up. So that's why they make work, in fact, they make work convenient by changing the direction of force. Effort and the load are the same. Mm. Effort distance and the load distance are also the same. Effort is the, and load is the same. Friction is ignored. Effort distance and load distance are the same, but it makes work easier by changing the direction of force. So if you ask, uh, like I saw it in a KCP, which machine is effort slightly higher than the load? It will be single fixed pulley. Because if the friction is not ignored, the effort is going to be higher than the load. I will, I will post this one so that you go through them later. Let's go to number... So move down nine. Which is the most appropriate point to place the spring spring balance so that it measure the effort? So when you want to measure the effort use, you put the spring balance where you are going to pull. So you are going to pull W. That's where you put the spring balance. Understood? Yes. Uh, which one of the following animal yes. feeds provide livestock with energy? Uh, one, the main word there is energy. So eliminate the ones that provide protein. So eliminate uh, Lusan for choice A, uh, Desmodium for choice B, and uh, glycine for choice D. So you remain with choice D. Just know which one provide protein. Then you eliminate them because they're asking for energy. Proteins are only four. So let me know you know how to answer the question. And I want you please, please uh, even after this, I once I put this recording, you go through them and see the way I'm answering questions. So you do the same when you have a paper. Uh, yeah, number four, number 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 nineteen. Two objects of different masses were released to drop from the same height at the same time. What was observed? That is gravity. Gravity in the earth is the same. So irrespective of uh, uh, how heavy something is, they will fall at the same time. Because gravity is a force that attracts things towards the center of earth. So they will go at the same time. So both landed at the same time. That is cut. 20. To 20. This is an experiment. First of all, you have to know which experiment is this. It's experiment in class six, uh, uh, properties of matter, investigating part of air is used for burning. Automatically, what am I going to observe? The candle will go off after some times. Water will enter inside the glass to occupy the space which was occupied by the gas that has been used for burning. And then water will enter this inside this glass with a fraction which we call a fifth, 20%. That is oxygen. That is the conclusion of air is used for burning. So which is the question they're asking me now? Which of the following statement is true about the experiment? So that one can either be observation or conclusion. So the candle went off immediately. The candle does not go off immediately. Water in the jar went down when the candle went off. It will Water in the jar will increase. Experiment was to investigate that air occupies space. No. Water in the basin increased after the candle went off. Yes. Understood? Yes. Okay, let's go to number 21 very fast. Um, sound does not travel in, or sound travel pores in. Sound travel pores in gases. Sound does not travel in a vacuum. Sound travel pores in gases. You're writing. Then sound does not travel in a vacuum. 22. The weight of an object is me measured in weight is a force, so force is measured in newtons. And using which is current, uh, spring balance. The rest of the choice on number 22 are unit for mass. These are your unit for mass, kilogram, tons, and the uh, no kilogram, ton, unit for mass, plus degree is the unit for temperature. Make sure you know that mass is measured in kilogram, tons, and and and, and the grams. Temperature degrees. Post neutron. The three. Mm. Which one of the following is not a disadvantage of the force that opposes motion? Force that oppo opposes motion that is friction. So that the first thing that you know is a friction. So what is the disadvantage of friction? It helps in washing, correct? That is an advantage. Helps to produce unwanted heat. That is a disadvantage. Helps in tearing and wearing. That is a disadvantage. Use Useful in making blisters in the palms of the hand, that is a disadvantage. So automatically the advantage one is A. 
washing clothes. And four, the following are the effects of cigarette smoking except. So the following are the effects of cigarette smoking. This uh, this one, I think, was marked wrongly, or it was, I think it was test. This thing is supposed to be effects. Effects, not health, not health. So uh, because it was health, we are marking with air pollution. Is that correct? Is it being marked with air pollution? Yeah, but I, 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 think, I think the best answer here is supposed to be restlessness. Okay, the, be the best answer there is restlessness. So you correct it. Okay. You correct it. Restlessness is the best answer. And finally, which of the following processes show heat transfer to fluids and vacuum respectively? Please make sure you know that heat transfer is a must in each and every question. Even those who are not going to be in the afternoon class here, please kindly revise heat transfer, the conduction, radiation, and convection. So when we talk about fluids, when you talk about a vacuum, fluid is fluids is what? Fluids is convection. fluids are liquid and gases. That is uh, convection, and then vacuum is the answer become convection and radiation. I'm going to post the recording for the people who are not in. Uh, people who are in uh, 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 are not in the afternoon classes to go through it, but these people who are in the afternoon classes, you can also go back and go through them. So that, please, when I give 25 questions tomorrow, you don't fail again. Yes. Are you together? Yes. yes. So yes. Kindly, kindly yeah. go for lunch. I go, I, once I post the recordings, make sure you follow the recordings and then post the video write what you don't know, and then continue until you finish number 1 to 25. So that is the homework. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye.